First, let us understand what is a wood. A wood is anatomically the secondary xylem that is added up as a result of secondary thickening of many years in seeded plants, the gymnosperms and angiosperms. The central core, the darker wood, is called the hardwood, whereas the outer lighter wood is called as the sapwood. Let's move into the difference in detail. So this is a radial section. As you can see, this darker colored wood is the hardwood, whereas the outer lighter colored region is the sapwood. And this is the TS or transverse section. Let us explain the characteristics of hardwood and sapwood with this picture. Hardwood. It is the durable, dead, dark colored, non-conducting central part of all trees. These dead cells are filled with resins and tannins. That is the reason for this dark color often plucked with tyloses. So these are tyloses. Tyloses are parenchymatous cells that protrudes from xylem vessels or tracheids into the lumen, into the cavity of xylem, thus blocking the water transport. And these balloon-like outgrowths of parenchymatous cells are often filled with resin, tannins, etc., giving the wood the characteristic odor and also makes the wood hard wood by giving the durability as these chemicals, these resins and tannins, prevents attack by termites, fungus, etc., making the wood hardwood, durable. As the wood is durable, it's also called as duramen. And of course, the function is mechanical support, as these are made up of dead cells. Now let us see what is sapwood. As you see, this is the sapwood. It is the living, conducting outer part of all trees, which is light-colored, composed of living cells with protoplast where tyloses are often absent if present it's very few the function is conduction of water and nutrients so these are conducting living wood and this is that durable non-living wood this offers mechanical support and this sapwood is meant for conduction of water and nutrients and this durable hardwood is used for making furniture as sapwood is without tyloses or resins or tannin deposition, this wood is susceptible to attack by fungus, insects, termites, etc. So we use hardwood or durable wood for making furniture. Hope you understand the difference between sapwood and hardwood. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com.